America. It's your boy, Chuck Johnson, a.k.a. Kid Thunder. Well, apparently, Chick-fil-A has lost my patronage. And you know what? I go there, I used to go there a lot. You know, at one job I've worked at, I would usually stop at a Chick-fil-A for breakfast. Or lunch, uh, whenever, I mean, depending on the time of day. You know, and, you know, coming from a guy who is a born-again, Bible-believing, God-fearing Christian, you know, I'm not perfect. You know, I've always ended up respecting the values what Chick-fil-A had stand for. But now, the sad part is this. They have catered to political correctness, and they definitely have catered to the social justice movement. Especially now since they cater to, you know, they are now donating to organizations like the Southern Poverty Law Center, which targets conservatives, which advocates for the, LG, the LGBT agenda. And it's like this, you know, the funny thing is this, you know, a lot of churches, even a lot of churches, you know, who claim Christian status, you got churches who support the LGBT agenda as well. <clears throat> now, I've said this time and time again in a lot of my videos, as a born again Christian, you know, I do not hate homosexuals. However, I disagree with the lifestyle they obviously have. You know, I disagree with the lifestyle they live. You know, and you know, some and not only that, you know, when they want when they obviously, you know, shove it in my face, you know, the homosexual, the homosexual agenda down everybody's face. I mean, I've always believed that marriage is exclusive to one man and one woman. I mean, remember in 2012 when, uh, the president, Dan Cathy, came out and stated that, uh, <clears throat> that um, he is a, he has always been against. I mean, he when it came to mar you know marriage and you know when you know the country under when the country was t when we had politicians that was like fav favoring. When we had politicians that were favoring same-sex marriages being made into law, I mean, back then, there was a time when, there was a time when, you know, homosexuality was not even allowed. I mean, and even with the, and here's the killer, in the black, I mean, the black community, the majority of us. The majority of us black people, I mean, the majority of us in the black community still supports the Democratic Party. And when we, and when we give our support to them, that's obviously, you know, we giving support to, you know, we support same-sex marriages and, you know, sick men like Bruce Jenner being in the same bathroom as little girls. And last time I checked, the vast majority of the black community has always been against the homosexual lifestyle. I, so why are we voting, why are we still voting Democratic anyway? When, when we black, when we black people are against homosexuality, <clears throat> when we, when we black people do not support same-sex marriages. But back to 
this whole Chick-fil-A story again. I'm sorry. Yes, if they deliver, if this story is so hard to believe, you know, this may be hard to believe. I don't know for sure. But <clears throat> if, God forbid, Chick-fil-A has donated, has indeed donated to the, to anti-Christian organizations. I'm sorry to say this. Chick-fil-A obviously will lose my patronage. I mean, <clears throat> Target has lost my patronage because they think sick men like Bruce Jenner would use the women's restroom, especially if it happens to be little girls using that public restroom. Besides, Target really never had anything to begin with. But, I digress. I digress about this whole Chick-fil-A thing. I mean, this whole Chick-fil-A... But, like I said, if Chick-fil-A... If this is true about Chick-fil-A, they have lost my patronage. They have lost a customer. I've been a Chick-fil-A customer since 2012. You know, off and on. And I and I loved going there back then. But now, they like to cave in with the PC garbage brought to us by, you know, everybody in the mainstream. You know, everybody in the media, the liberal left. You know, all this stuff. And you know what? I, being a born-again Christian, am ashamed, let alone appalled, at what Chick-fil-A has done. Now, I'm a guy who, I'm a guy who usually favors, you know, who usually don't, you know, drop my pay, drop patronage anywhere because of somebody's political beliefs. But, <clears throat> but now, Chick-fil-A, but Chick-fil-A being a, one of the greatest organizations, they, one of the greatest uh, fast food companies I was going to, I believe they go. I believe they're going to end up. This is going to hurt them big time. You know. I mean, what's next? Chick Fil A is going to start opening up on su on Sundays. Now all of a sudden they want to cave into the PC agenda. You tell me what you guys think. I'm Chuck Johnson, aka Kid Thunder. I'm out.